Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Going to bring you a pretty good beginner song. Uh, it's got a couple of tricky tricks uh, with your fingers. Anyway, I'm going to break it down for you. Uh, but real quick, I have a chord and scale book and uh, free lessons that I send through your email. All you have to do is click the link below and check it out. I really appreciate it. Uh, but let's get to the lesson. Here we go. All right, let's get to it. The rhythm, I, I used to teach this song before YouTube existed. I used to teach this one to uh, students. And the rhythm and chord change was always the most difficult thing for them. Uh, so let's, let's break down this rhythm. It's a great rhythm to practice for lots of different progressions. Uh, So you want to have that down pretty good, and up, and we're going to take a G chord. Three, two, O, O, uh, three, three. Now you could also play G this way. And I think this one sounds better for this song, but it's up to you. So good. Okay, so we got that, and we're gonna go. So remember, I was going down, 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 up. So down, 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 up. And so that up that we that we were working on in that pattern is when it switches to an A major chord. Now, if you've ever seen A this way, it used to be real weird for me when I was first learning to play an A this way with one finger as opposed to this. If you're a real beginner, you can play that regular A, but you're not going to be able to do the, uh, the, <laughs> I can't do it either. A you know, little embellishing thing. So let's try and do A with the index finger here. So we got the open A, second fret, second fret, second fret, muted. Okay, so we have. So on that down, up, down, up, on the A chord strum, we want fourth fret on the G and then off. Then the same thing on the D. So if you've never done something like that before, maybe it's going to be easier to use your ring finger. I play the chord and I can kind of squeeze it and then get my pinky and that's how it's comfortable for me. But if you want to use your, in, uh, your ring finger, um, Okay, now the next section is weird because the bass line is kind of the, I think, the most recognizable melody, which sounds like this. We don't have a low D, so I'm going to this D right here. And so you've got this melody in the bass, but if you're just playing it on guitar,
was trying to find a good clear footed, you know, good clear footage of it, and it really kind of just looks like a, a G. What I found is I'm going G, 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 D, D, and I'm taking my middle finger off to mimic the, and then you have a D, but you can go, um, so you can hear that bass line in the high notes there. See, while you're strumming. I think it sounds cool that way. Hope you learned something. Uh, remember, I have that chord and scale book. You can click the link below, check it out. Otherwise, we'll see you in another free lesson uh, real soon. Take care.